Everybody's heard of ChatGPT and making money with ChatGPT, but there's hundreds of AI tools and projects coming out every month. The pace of innovation in this space is absolutely ridiculous. You can boost your productivity with AI, you can make money with AI, you can write emails, turn little pictures into actual UI, there's so many things. So here are 10 AI tools that really stuck out to me in the past month of me researching this. If you're new to the channel, you like this type of content, subscribe hit the little bell icon so you never miss out on future videos the best way to show your support to the channel is by leaving a like of course and with that being said let's get the show on the road so you have a very good idea for a ui how you want an app to look but you don't even know where to start well I suggest you start with Uizard. U UI is all UI is all UI is a wiz wiz UI wizard. It takes an amateur drawing that you do on a piece of paper and turns it into the most beautiful looking UI design you can find. It literally feels like magic. And every single one of these AI tools you can also monetize. You, you can monetize you using one of those AI tools. For example, you can hop onto Fiverr and offer people UI design ideas. You can then write it on a piece of paper draw it actually on a piece of paper and the app the AI will create the UI design for you so most of these AI tools the way to make money with them is by offering your services to clients that's best way to do it and you obviously you can also create your own UI design but this just makes the process so much simpler so much easier and it's a win-win because you are helping the clients out some clients don't know this exists some clients just don't want to bother doing it so it's a win-win. Second tool I want to talk about is called Jasper AI. Jasper AI is basically a copywriter. So what's copywriting anyway? Well, any form of writing you can imagine, from emails to stories. It's like having your very own robot sidekick with an infinite supply of ideas. And that's why the perfect pair of socks is like a hug for your feet. Hot damn, that's good. So this is an all-in-one content generation platform that can help you write even things like blog posts, reports, anything that has writing in it requires a copywriter and this tool allows the AI to do it. Obviously you can also do it with chat GPT but this tool is precisely made for copywriting so I feel it'll be a lot better than chat GPT in that regard but you can always try both. Obviously you can also go to Fiverr or Upwork or you can also create a drop shipping business where you offer copywriting to clients and businesses. Okay so we're on Fiverr and let's test this. So here's someone offering professional copywriting for your website, print, or ad starting at a hundred bucks. There's over 1k reviews and people are really satisfied with what this person offers. Now will the copywriting be as good as when a human does it? Only one way to find out. As far as I've tested it, it's pretty damn good. Right, but moving on, Notion AI is a tool you do not want to miss. This is basically ChatGPT with a cleaner, and better interface, friendlier to use. And so here's a brief description and what it looks like. So it finds patterns in a massive set of data referred to as training data. Then it creates a model. It then tests the model by asking it a question it already knows the answer to, analyzing how accurate its answer is. The data generated by the AI is referred to as test data. So over time and with more inputs and test data, it learns and it iterates on the model. So that's from a technical standpoint as to how it works, but what it basically is and what it basically does is everything ChatGPT does, but with a friendlier, more beautiful interface, so to say. So anything from translating content into various languages with really good accuracy, fixing grammar mistakes, generating emails, brainstorming ideas with you, this app can do, this AI can do all of that and much more, basically your creativity is the only limit, just like with ChatGPT. But guys, if you like this content and maybe want to read more about it, I wrote an article for all of these 10 tools over on Medium and there's also a link for that in the description down below, so if you want to check that out, maybe read the article and see more in depth with pictures, feel free to do so. Now here's a really fun one, Room GPT. <laughs> what is Room GPT, you may ask? <laughs> well, that's exactly what you think it is. Maybe not, I don't know what you... What, do you, what did you think room GPT is? So you take a picture of your room, your room looks like this, for example, this is room A, you put it into the AI, and then you can create different themes to see what your room would look like if you were to change the couch, the walls, the rugs, anything. So basically it helps you generate a room with AI technology. It's 100% free of charge and really all you have to do is just take a picture of your room and upload it and the AI will do the rest. So this would be considered a productivity or money-making tool if you're in the business of 
decorating rooms, I guess, or real estate or any kind of business that involves changing rooms, I guess. Otherwise, if you're not in that business or don't want to get into that business, it's just a fun tool to use to see what your room would look like. Aha, uh -huh. so you have a resume and a LinkedIn profile, but you have trouble finding a job. Well, look no further than Resume AI. That's not what it's called, is it's it? It's resume worded, you No need to curse at me, damn, okay. Resume worded, I, I know. I, I've written the article myself. So simply put, resume worded will help you land more job opportunities. While you can go to ChatGPT or Notion AI and get help from their AIs to write you a really good resume or a good CV. Resume worded is made specifically for this purpose. So I think using AI that has a specific purpose rather than an AI that does everything would be much better in this case. It will also give you feedback on the resume you already have and really try to make the most of what you have and help you land more job opportunities. But the way they say on their website is it helps you land five times more job opportunities. Obviously, that's a relative number. Who knows what it's going to be for everyone, but you can try it. See how you like it. If you struggle with resumes, if you struggle with LinkedIn, there you go. Resume boarded is for you. But moving on, we have LEAI. So LEAI key features are data product design, data modeling, business glossary, collaborations, and open AI. In short, businesses depend on data more than ever, and LE gives data teams the tools and frameworks to ensure that there's always a real business value when they're creating new products. So there's some amazing use cases for LEAI. You should hop over on their website and see everything they have to offer. Offer. So if you do own any kind of business, I reckon you will find some use with Ellie AI. That's all cool and fine, but what about beautiful AI? Huh? What about that? You want AI that's beautiful? Well, look no further than beautiful AI. Beautiful AI delivers on its name promise. It simplifies the process of putting together a beautiful slide deck with all the layouts and styles figured out. So you pick the color, you find royalty-free images from their library, and the AI features are kind of sprinkled on top throughout the whole process, and the AI basically helps you with every step of the way. Basically, beautiful AI jumpstarts your presentations. So you have a presentation to do, beautiful AI is what you want to use. It makes everything look beautiful and nice, the slides look amazing, and everything you don't like, you can just highlight and just ask the AI to specifically change that portion that you didn't like. It's amazing what you can do with a little AI, isn't it? All right, let's say you're a YouTuber. Let's say you make content on Twitter or TikTok, doesn't matter. You need to do a little bit of research. Even if you're a writer, you need to do research. Or maybe you're doing a school project. Either way, you need to do research. And you want AI to help you, but you don't want to use ChatGPT or Notion. You want to use something that's specifically made for research. <laughs> Look no further than Genie. I, I think it's pronounced Genie. It's, is it Genie or Gene? I'll call it Genie. This is a research AI, something I personally find very useful. So you can start by adding your research projects to the app. For example, I can add a research I'm doing for a specific video. Let's say this video that I'm doing right now, I can add researching uh, AI productivity tools that can also help you make money. So I would add my project keywords and important topics. So I would add AI, ChatGPT, ChatGPT AI would be a good keyword as well. So just stuff like that, that really associates with what I'm going to do in the video and what I need to be researched. The AI will then search the web for relevant content and offer suggestions also to add new sources. You can click on the overview button to see if the new sources are worth it or not. So you can either scrap them or you can use them and basically let the AI do all the labor work for you. So let's say we go to Fiverr and we search for research. So as you can see, there's a lot of research available here, a lot of people who will do research for you, and you can bet your freaking ass that at least half of them are also using AI in order to do this. A lot of people don't want to be bothered with doing this themselves. It's not an amoral thing to do. AI will not take over anybody's jobs. This is how it always worked. So this person is selling, I will do deep internet research and write urgent papers and summaries starting at 10 euros. This person does it for 60. There's a lot of different ones, but basically you can go on Fiverr and research this, and this is very a very, very good side hustle. Now on number nine, we have Galileo AI. This AI creates a delightful, editable UI design from a simple text description. It empowers you to design faster, and you can generate a complex UI design in minutes, and the AI does all the work. Well, most of the work. You still gotta do something. <laughs> and that something is writing a description, so you do have 
to actually sit down and write a description. But I can also use another AI tool to write a description and then import the AI's description into Galileo and then Galileo will generate the UI. Now the difference between UI wizard and Galileo is UI wizard takes a picture but Galileo makes actually an editable design. Now last but not least is a project, a tool called Find, but with a PH, so Pind, Find, Find. Well, it looks like you just misspelled Find. Find is a search platform where thinkers search for everything they need. That's how they promote it at least. In reality, it's just a really good search engine. So Find is designed to help its users discover and explore local businesses and services in the area. Unlike traditional search engines like Google and Bing, Find focuses on providing relevant results for local businesses such as restaurants, coffee shops, bars, gyms, and etc. And so everything I just said was written by ChatGPT. Well, at least when it comes to Find. I actually asked ChatGPT to write something about Find. This is what it wrote. <laughs> so it sounds a little bit mechanic, doesn't it? Doesn't it, it, it wouldn't be something I would have said. It kind of repeated the same thing twice. I don't know. You still haven't noticed, have you? There you go. AI does the work for you. But basically, when you search for something on Find, on the left side you can see the search results, while on the right side you can see a kind of summary, a really small description of what you will be able to find on the website, which I find super freaking useful. And I don't use the Google search engine for years now. Haven't been using Google. The only Google service I use is Gmail and, well, YouTube, of course. But this video is not sponsored by anyone except for myself. I'm sponsoring it, giving it my own time. <laughs> and for the ad revenue, I basically earn nothing. So if you could take half a second and leave a like if any of these tools help you at all, or if you make any money at all, or even if you just found it entertaining, a like helps a lot. I don't earn anything from it, but it helps my engagement and helps get my videos out there, which in turn helps me get more sponsors on the channel. And that's how I get paid and that's how I organize giveaways from time to time where you guys get paid as well which if you're new that's something I do like every 10th video or so I would organize a giveaway where I give the viewers you guys a little bit of what I make because I really believe in giving back if I earn a thousand dollars I'm gonna give back 150 200 sometimes so even up to 20 percent that's just what I do that's what I started doing from the beginning and yeah that's it thanks for watching inspector out